you guys have been asking for it. You don, that's right, I'm bringing you this recipe. Wanna give a shout out to Cooking With Dog for inspiring me to make this recipe. You guys, let's check it out. So let's get right into the gyudon ingredients. First, you're gonna have one to two medium to large size onions, sliced thin, one and a half tablespoons of grated ginger, one egg per serving. Make sure you have rice ready to go. Thinly sliced beef that you can get from Japanese and Korean supermarkets. If you don't have a Korean or Japanese supermarket, just take a regular steak partially freeze it and then slice it with a sharp knife to get those thin slices. For your sauce mixture, one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, one tablespoon of sake. Go ahead and mix those immediately so that your sugar dissolves. 150 milliliters of dashi stock. Lastly, for your garnish, green onions sliced very thin, as well as beni shoga, which is pickled ginger. First thing you wanna do is prepare your onsen tamago. Start to boil a pot of water, enough to fill a smaller pot full of the boiling water for your eggs. Once the water is boiling, place the eggs in a small pot, pour the water over it, and cover. Set the timer to 16 minutes and have an ice bath ready to go. Once your timer goes off, take your eggs and put it in the ice bath and let it sit to the side. So you're gonna take your egg out of the ice bath. You're gonna crack it against a sharp edge and then slowly crack it in half and it's gonna drop out. Okay, as you saw, I just prepared the onsen tamago. Um, I've got all my ingredients prepared. I've got my pan that's warmed up right now. I'm gonna be using a canola oil you're gonna strain your beef because you're gonna be putting the soy sauce mixture in it afterwards. If you don't have a strainer and a glass bowl like this, you can easily just use tongs and remove it. But let's get cooking. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my pan up that's been heating for a while. At this point, you want your heat on high. You don't want it really smoking, but you want it nice and warm enough to be able to cook up all your meat. Then you're gonna add your meat once that oil is warmed up. And again, make sure it's a high heat. So when it's about halfway done, I like to just cover it for about 30 to 60 seconds to cook it all the way through. As you can see, the beef is just about cooked. It's not all the way cooked, but that's okay. Then we're gonna pour the soy sauce mixture so it's nice and flavored through. At this point, you can turn your heat to the very lowest setting. Fortunately, I do have a strainer. So what I do is I just pour all out to the strainer and I reserve that soy sauce mixture in the bowl below. All you were trying to do here is flavor all the beef with that soy sauce mixture. All right, now that you've got your soy sauce mixture separated, go ahead and pour it back into the pan. Turn your heat to medium high, add your dashi mixture, add your ginger, stir, and let this cook for about 30 seconds. One thing I would suggest is cooking out the rawness of the ginger. Ginger can be a very potent flavor. So what I like to do is let it sit here for about a minute or so, uh, slightly at a simmer to kind of boil out some of those strong flavors. Then all you're gonna do is add your onions to your mixture. Let that get up to a slight boil. Turn your heat down to medium low and cover. Set your timer to five minutes. Woo! As you can see, the uh, onions have softened up but not completely cooked and that's what you want. You want a little body to your onions. Next, you're gonna add back your beef and stir till it's completely heated through. The good thing is at this point, you can just cover it and let it sit for as long as you want, put it on the lowest heat or turn off the heat. One of the things about gyudon is you could cook this the night before and just reheat it in the morning for breakfast. Um, I make enough not only for dinner, but a little bit for the next day.
Bam! We got gyudon for you guys. You guys know I love making this for the girls. Judy loves this. So delicious, so satisfying. Great evening dinner dish or something you can treat yourself with in the morning. Let's taste it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My lord, is beef and onions. You guys, this has been a gyudon recipe by me, Benji Travis, here on Benjamin TV. Click the link up here for more videos of other recipes I love. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit the like below and leave a comment of what you thought about this recipe. Talk to you later.